Right, what's going on guys, I'm back with a video looking at subwoofer box designs. Okay, so you may remember the Yamaha 8 inch woofer I have here from the, um, a video just having a sound test with out of box. Um, it says digital photo frame layer here because um, I've created a sealed subwoofer box and it may look rubbish but I've put a bit of effort into it actually every single edge with an opening is sealed really really well with sellotape yeah sellotape um, the woofer is actually being glued in so there shouldn't be too much air escaping around there and like I said it's sealed so It'll be very, very tight in the low frequencies compared to a more efficient um, ported subwoofer. And also, I didn't think I'd be able to pull off a ported subwoofer just with cardboard. Um, now, talking about ported subwoofers, um, the Diamond 4, and you can't see it, but the Diamond um, 7.1 up here, they have ports at the back, um, and that's because of a very, very solid, I think it's cherry wood case, and... Um, it's solid enough for them to have a fi efficient um, port design on the back. Now I'm just going to play you a song using um, this microphone against the uh, Yamaha woofer just to show you what it sounds like. Now if you compare that to my video of it without a box, it is um, a lot bassier, you can't really get a good idea with a microphone, but um, I do have a G clamp on this just because it's cardboard so I can't I can't get it that solid, um, but I shall be looking at um, other subwoofer box designs, like you can get the um, T line which is really really efficient for smaller woofers, um, it's basically box a bit like this but maybe wider and then you'd get um it's like a intricate kind of port design inside and then it's got a kind of base scoop right here and that's really really efficient um just turn my amp off and then you get the base scoop which is used for like concert subwoofers and that's um using a I've forgotten the name but it's like um a special type of curve which is the less the least amount of friction and that's really efficient if you want like really loud bass if you're having a lot of power and a lot of air being shoved at the audience that's a really good design so thank you very much for watching my very short um, video and I hope you've learned a bit today because I have <laughs>